Hello everyone. So as we know, we are moving with the module number 4 that is Ethics in Engineering. This is the last video of module 4. Total topics that we have covered in this video that we will discuss briefly at the end of this video. So let's start with the new topic that is Responsible Professional and Ethical Corporation. So to understand the word professional, it is necessary to know the meaning of the word profession. Profession is the work that requires sophistication skill, the use of judgment and exercise of discretion, which is not routine and it is not capable of being mechanized and significant public good results from it is called profession. To be professional, now the person have to be professional. He or she requires extensive formal education and not simply a training or appreciation ship and there are societies or organizations that are controlled by the members of the profession who set the standards of conduct for the professional and admissions to professions. So to know the word professional, it is necessary to know the meaning of the word profession. Obviously, medicine and law are expected as professions, but let us see if we can say that engineering is also a profession. Certainly, engineering requires sophistication skills and particular knowledge which is obtained through extensive training through formal education for about four years. Engineers design involves judgment of how to use available materials and components to resolve certain problems. So this is the profession where you need a sophistication training. If we consider discretion, then there is a need to keep the employers and clients information confidential. Another meaning of discretion is to think with independent will and for a new design, the engineers requires discretion. Also, though once a new technology is developed, it is copied and the work becomes mechanized. But the application of every tool and technology and the new design can never be mechanized. Finally, an engineer's work has a huge impact on the society and it is not the good of the people by providing ways of communication, transportation, energy resources, fulfilling needs of shelter, you may say clothing, agricultural and medical equipments. There are controlling societies for the different branches of engineering which defines the code of ethics and responsible entitled in being an engineer. So here the word profession is that you need a sophisticated training not only the appreciation by the society. So the responsible professional and ethical corporation is very much important. Now let's understand the next topic subtopic that is professional responsibilities. An engineer has some responsibilities in his or her work which is known as professional responsibilities which are some points. There are few points that you have to keep in mind or which is important responsibility that's, that every engineer have to see about this. First is confidential. The prime responsibility of any professional is confidential. In medicine and law, it is very obvious that confidentiality be maintained of the patient and the client respectively. But in engineering also, it is an engineer's obligation to keep the information of the employer and client confidential. Any information of an organization like you may say test result and data, unreleased product or design, how the business is run, etc. can be used by the competitor to gain advantages and hence must be kept confidential in interest of the organization. Engineers working in government department, especially for defense industry, have, have, have even more strong requirement to keep confidential data. Though it is obvious to an engineer about what to keep confidential and from whom. There are instances where there are grey areas. Here the decision mainly depends on the moral values of the individual. So here to run your organization smoothly, to keep in the competitor area, 
you have to keep your data you have to keep your unreleased product design confidential so these are the responsibility first responsibility of an every engineer second comes the conflict of interest any profession provides conflicts of interest and it is important for the profession to avoid such a situation there may be a conflict of interest between the engineer and the organization or you may say an engineer to the public the engineers may compromise the need of the public for one's own interest and this may result into various accidents occurring during the engineering or you may say design failure taking bribes to give permission for the work that is not within the code of ethics or it is illegal sharing the information of tender with the company where you have financial or other interest or avoiding more work to go into the depth of the case are some examples of giving in to self interest at the cost of public or organizational interest so here an engineer there are ways where the engineers have conflicts with the public or the organization at that time the engineer have to keep the confidential data in their mind next is environmental ethics one of the most important issues faced by the world is that of the environmental deterioration engineers have partly contributed to this problems and are also doing researches to counter them the detrimental effects of the use of technology has made the societies and corporation more alter about them and hence have laid down various norms for the organization and engineers to carry out their responsibility for the environment protection for example let's see an example there are standards for minimum level of certain gases and chemicals that are released by the factories as we know there are some standards or the norms that amount only the factory can release into the environment but this standards are sometimes compromised to be able to carry out this responsibility fully engineers must take the help of physicians biologists and public health experts it may be costly affair to carry out various test and takes more time but in the long run the decision taken will be beneficial for the whole society so it is very much important nowadays the environmental ethics is important and last comes the computer ethics within the increasing use of computer in all the field it requires a challenge of unethical use of it let's see one by one firstly the computers can be used for robbery crime blackmailing and so on usage gives the ease to the criminals secondly there is a privacy use for the information about individual and organizational leak of such information of individual leads to harassment in terms of repeated phone calls from the telecallers or even harassment in terms of subtle teasing again thirdly we can say hacking is used to access the private information as we know this is a very recent problem nowadays hacking is used to access the private information and change or destroy some important information many organization have developed the codes of ethics for computer use they are guidelines for the ethical use of computers so these are the four responsibilities that everyone have to every engineers have to keep in mind while doing his or her authority let's see one by one first is confidentiality second is conflict of interest third we have seen environmental ethics and fourth is the computer ethics and now the last topic of module 4 that is ethics in engineering let's see the scope of engineering ethics why it is the need where you implement the engineering ethics so ethics is the study of moral principles as we have discussed ethics is the study of the moral principles that governs a person's behavior or conducting an activity engineering ethics is the rules and regulations that governs the decision and actions of an engineer as a professional this both definition we have covered at the beginning of the module 4 during the engineering studies as we know the engineering studies carries a four years during this four years the student receive the knowledge of the basic science 
and its applications, problem solving and designing, but receives the little training in business practices, safety and ethics. There is no such courses that gives the knowledge of training in business practices, how one keep the safety during his or her work and the knowledge of the ethics. Moreover, engineers face situations where they have to deal with many things that are not known to them as a result of the design of the new device or product. This places a few challenges on engineer as far as decisions are taken. Before putting this design into the market, when an organization is putting some product into the market or implementing the new ideas, an engineer must see all the aspects. For example, he or she have to ask the questions like whether it will work, its impact on the lives of people, public, its working under different conditions and its safety measures. Hence, it is important for an engineer to be more imaginative and check all the kind of possibilities. An engineer must apply critical as well as creative thinking here to make a new design will work safely or will not harm anyone. Most engineers do not encounter cases like above where there is a big loss of life and the issue may create a huge disturbance in the city or the country. But every engineer faces challenges, situations that requires careful ethical reflection and decision making. So here as we have discussed in the engineering studies, the student give the ideas of the design, the examples, the problem solving, but get a minimum study of the ethical and the safety. So here you can use the engineering ethics in your work. So as we have seen, as I have said, this is the last video of module number four that is ethics in engineering. Total we have covered this much topics. First is ethics. Second is the ethics in engineering. We have discussed it is the rules and regulations or the practices that an engineer have to follow during his work. Secondly, we have covered making moral choices. That is when an engineer puts in a difficult situation, he have to select an option which is ethical as well as effective. This is the making moral choices. Again, resolving ethical dilemma. When an engineer put it in difficult situation, he or she have to resolve the dilemma, resolve the problems in the organization that we have discussed in this topic, resolving ethical dilemma. Next, we have discussed accepting and sharing the responsibilities, how engineers accept responsibilities, how we share to his employees, to his colleagues that we have discussed in this topic. Today, we covered the topic professional responsibility and at the end we have seen where this ethics is required, why it is a need to learn the ethics in engineering. So this is all about the module number 4 that is ethics in engineering. In the next video we will start with a new module. Thank you.